Hello and welcome to Paper Play Julie K. I'm here today to do a project share for a swap on Chevy Chic Craft Swaps USA um, where Amy Love is the admin. And for this swap we were to create like a needle slash sewing book. Um, and so here is what I created and of course to my partner if you don't want to see what you're getting don't watch the rest of the video. Um, but before I show this um, little chunky thing to you guys, um, I will show you kind of what I started off with just because I made a prototype and then I also um, put in some pages in another one just because I think I might make one for my mom. So, um, so that's the one I'm swapping out. But what I started with in this one, of course, is smaller than, than the actual one. But I ended up using some some batting in the middle and then of course sewing the material um, to make this is kind of my base so that's what I started off with um, my sewing skills still aren't that great and I cannot cut straight for the life of me but um, once you add the laces and the trims it didn't really matter I found so that's kind of what I started off with and then here's the start of the one that I created for my mom so it started this exact same way um, just different material and then I already glued on lace on the outside but then what I ended up doing is just sewing in some felt um, some nice felt that I picked up at Hobby Lobby which they have different um, like widths or whatever for the the felt um, so this is the little bit thicker one um, which I like but if you as you can see then what I ended up doing is just sewing down the middle of each of these about a half inch apart um, down the spine and so that's how I created the next book that I'm swapping just to kind of show you guys if you're curious how I put mine together and so that's kind of what it looks like so here's my swap item and I used a lot of laces and trims from my stash and then also recently I purchased a D stash of some appliques and then also some um, snippets and also um, a lace bag from Amy Love's channel and so I used a lot of that stuff it was just kind of fun to play with I had a whole huge mess all over my desk just playing to make this one so I had a lot of fun with this one um, so on the cover I glued down um, I started off first off with a base on top of the material of just some lace that I had in my stash and then on top of that I have two heart appliques and then I also went around the edges with two or three layers of different types of trims and then one of the things that I realized when I was creating these um, is I should have sewn in right away some sort of tie and I didn't do that so then I had to glue this one down and then I just covered my ends with these little um, I think they were buttons that I picked up at Hobby Lobby so I did that on both sides just to to kind of finish it off and make it look a little bit nicer and then um, I also added some flat back pearls there's an applique a small applique up there um, on the spine I did put some of this flower trim that I had in my stash the back is pretty much what the front would look like if, if you took off the heart applique I just left it plain again I really stuffed this so the person that's getting this my swap partner um, you can take out a few things and it won't be quite as chunky um, and then I love um, the little dangle trim that I added to the bottom of this it looks really cute and so um, when you open it up here's my first page and here I'm just going to stick a little note for my partner um, in there and so I just left that one blank for now and you can see I just added a little piece of um, lace that I got in that snippet um, bag from Amy Love and then I um, bordered it out with some trim that I bought at Hobby Lobby on this first page I decided to go ahead and do something with needles so these are sewing needles and so I just double folded up some felt pieces to stick them in and then I decorated them up a little bit each of my pages I did cover with some sort of fabric or um, lace I just I just thought that gave it a more finished look than just leaving it as the plain felt 
And this one I went ahead and edged the whole page with some small trim in my stash. And then up in the corner I just added a little um, snippet that was left over from some sort of um, lace trim that I had. And I just added the little flat back pearl in the middle of it. So that one's a needle page. And then on this one in the background you can see the little um, material that I used back there and that actually came off of a old shirt of mine. Um, it's not really lace, it's cotton, but I thought it was pretty. And this one I bordered with some rickrack trim that my friend Hope gave me a long time ago. Um, and then I also took apart a wedding dress a while ago. And so these are some of the wedding app, the appliques that were on that wedding dress. And then right here I'm gifting her um, and I just attached it with some safety pins. It's a little heart doily and my mom makes these for me. So um, I am sharing that. It's really tough for me to do. Usually I have a hard time sharing things that my mom made for me. But um, I am sharing and gifting that to my swap partner. The next page is a pocket that I created. And so I did create a whole bunch of these po this type of pocket throughout this um, lace book, sewing book. I just kind of changed the little middle center on a lot of them. And then up in the corner, I added this one. I have a little applique from that wedding dress I took apart. And in the pockets, I just threw in a whole bunch of handmade by tags. Um, I didn't decorate them because the book was already getting so fat. Um, so my partner can decorate them if she wants to and add strings to them. And they, they'd look really cute if you added you know, a little small applique on it or some lace or trims on the edges. And these are digitals that I printed off. And the company is Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Um, Debbie Ann does sell a lot of beautiful journal kits. Um, so I did put those in there because I love those handmade by tags. I print those off every once in a while for my mom. And then the next page over, um, again I have some lace in the background, a couple of the appliques from the wedding dress that I took apart. And these I just folded up and then left it kind of a loop at the bottom of some felt and I covered it again with some lace and trims and then a little applique. And I just hung a whole bunch of safety pins off of them. Um, I did want to add some more flat back pearls, but it was getting so chunky that um, I just left them flat. And then in this one, I created some stick pins for my partner. Um, again, I started off with some lace on the bottom of my page, and then I edged it with some more lace trim for my stash. In each of the corners, I did add a little heart, a flat back heart. And then this little lace trim that comes from Hobby Lobby. And so here's my attempt at making stick pins. This is my first time actually ever making stick pins. So hopefully they work. Um, this is just a base of a stick pin. And so I left that so my partner can add more beads to that one if she wants. Um, you can see I started this one the exact same way. Because you buy them like this at um, Hobby Lobby in the wedding section. But I think I do like this one. And this one right here are my favorite ones that I made. So the next page, um, again, the background is a t-shirt that I cut apart um, and I attached a doily from my stash. This little applique was one that I had gotten in that um, D-stash from Amy Love. And then I trimmed it with some trim that I just received in a swap in a junk journal group. We were just shop, um, swapping shabby chic stuff and so I got that from Kathleen so it was just enough to go around the page so it was perfect. So here's another pocket that I created, um, exactly the same as the previous one I showed you, except for I put this really cute um, applique of a butterfly in the middle, and again, that came from the D-stash from Amy Love. And then when you take the stuff out, I did wrap up some trims on, these are pieces of wood, so to my partner, if you want to make it less chunky, this would be one thing you could take out of here, is, is this, because this really um, made it bulky once I added these. But I wanted you to have a couple um, trims for my stash. So, um, and this one's really cute. This one you get at Hobby Lobby and it actually has bows in it. Um, but really shabby, so I love that one. And then the next page, again, I started off with some lace in the background. And then I put this trim around the edges, um, which is from Hobby Lobby. Most of the trims I have 
um, that's the easiest spot for me to buy them, but I have been purchasing some stuff from Craft Supplies for You lately because she does have beautiful laces and trims. This one I did also um, put a wedding applique, and then I made another one of those loopy things with um, felt, and then I hung one of these pins that you can hang charms from, so I put a couple of charms. There's a hummingbird, and the butterfly one is on backwards, but and then the little birdhouse, which I thought was really cute. And then I decorated that little felt piece up with just a little bit of trim. I just had a hard time just leaving them blank or empty, so I had to add and decorate up. So I made another page for stick pins, but you could, of course, stick needles in here also. Um, this one I trimmed off with some pink little crochet trim. And, of course, the base, again, is some lace from my stash. There's another wedding applique on the side, and then three more stick pins that I created. And then, again, I doubled these up with two pieces of felt because I, I can't remember whose video, but they talked about um, that it was nice to have the double layer of the felt when you stick stuff in um, just so you had a little bit more space for it. Um, so that's what I did with all of mine is I doubled them up. And the next page, um, again, the background's T-shirt material. Here I just had some flower trim that I put some flat back pearls on and then I hung a couple of like doily centers for my partner to use for whatever. Um, another pocket um, with that same trim that I really like in the middle and this one what I did is I have some button cards and they're from this one's Tsunami Rose. It's a Etsy store and then I also have a couple from Calico Collage in here too. So I did um, put buttons on one of them, and then the rest I just cut out for my partner to have so she can add more buttons to them. Um, it was just so bulky that I just couldn't add any more in my pocket, so um, I just did the one with the buttons. But I thought that was a cute idea. And then on the next page I created, or the last page, I created again some more stick pins. And lace in the background on this one. There's a couple appliques in the corner. These are just snippets from that grab bag that I got from Amy Loves D Stash. And so I just used those little pieces up in the corner. I edged it out with some more trim from my stash. More of that Hobby Lobby trim. And those are the, my attempts again at um, stick pins. And all my stick pins I did put earring backs on the bottom so that they're not really pokey. So... Um, that no one hurts themselves. And then the last page, or the, the back cover, is a pocket. And again, I just um, added a pocket, and this was, again, some trim that was left, or in the grab bag that I got from Amy Loves D Stash for snippets, and it fit perfectly on here, so I added that as a pocket. I did trim it out a little bit. And then on the inside, I did give her just kind of a ribbon full of... Um, threads and this would have looked really cute too you could have actually like pinned this to a page and that would have been a cute idea too and then I just have a little needle threader in the same pocket and then again that's the back side so that is my needle sewing book for the swap hopefully my partner likes it I had a lot of fun creating this and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.